quite an extensive closet system coming back into the main, I'm guessing that was, you know, the main bedroom. That, that wing is sort of dedicated to it. And then we've got more bedrooms, okay. Or just like closet system was, okay, there's a secret little staircase there. Oh, more color, more color. What? Where am I? It's like a cool craft storage room. Maybe, maybe this was like sewing supplies or something. And another bedroom. Again, weirdly lighter here. I'm not, I don't hate the wallpaper actually. I just think it's maybe too much of it. I would like one accent wall of that. They have a very fancy toilet. <laughs> bits, or at least one of the least horrifying bits. Okay, and then, is that where the dumbwaiter comes out? Or is it here? Is that where the dumbwaiter comes out? Oh, they don't want us going in that room. They're teasing us, look at that. Wow, door slammed in our face. That's kind of creepy, it's kind of haunted. Okay, let's go through the, up the little secret staircase. What lurks at the top? of room. Just a huge room with quite low ceilings, it feels like, and questionable stains on the ceiling. And little creepy doors in the wall. This is possibly the most haunted room of them all. What is that? What is... Where is this leading? I mean, yeah, I get it that it's like attic crawl space, but mm -mm -mm, that's like... That's where creepy little people can hide, like little ghouls, little goblins. They're going in there. Four bath, 
inside and oh my gosh, whoa, this is a cool trip down memory lane, isn't it? I say trip down memory lane, it's not a memory lane any of us have ever been in in our lifetime. I personally was not alive in the year 1900. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that you weren't either. Um, I like this little sitting area here. I feel like this one is leaning cooler than creepy, but maybe it's just all the furniture helping it. There is like a weird ship here. I feel like there's a story behind that. And this guy who says, you're solo. Okay. Spanish conquistador down there. Very red dining room. Like, you know, it's like, it's not too bad. It definitely could be on it because it's so old. But, um, at least the decor is not really scary. They've made it, like, this room is somewhat modern looking. I could, I could see myself maybe, like, staying here a night for, like, an B&B, you know, I don't think I would mind too much. Um, this is cute. Little breakfast room. Where's the kitchen? Oh, they're here. That's actually a really cute kitchen. Ah, uh, I kind of love it. Oh, I don't, I never like these ceilings. I don't know, they're just kind of weird. This is pretty cute. I love the little serving bit through there. Um, oh, and it even opens into a little pantry area. They've kept it very well organized. You got little oven, two ovens and the stove top. This is pretty cute. Boy, you can even sit and eat in here. So far, not too haunted. Okay. There's like a odd little closet here. Um, yeah, I guess they're just using it as storage and a bathroom with a nice cloth lid top. Wow, a very fancy looking ceiling. Okay, I think I want to go up the main staircase. I usually try to do that. Like, if I see a side staircase, I'm gonna... I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna go up this one. It's very fancy. I just can't ever see myself living in a place like this. Whoa. It just doesn't... It feels like a place you would have to visit. You can't live here permanently, right? Something about that feels wrong. To me, at least. Okay. Whoa. Okay. It's bright enough that it doesn't feel super haunted, but every time, anytime you see a four poster of that, it like curtains in it, there's an air of haunted. There, there's an air. A little bit haunted. I feel like some spooky ghost noises would be going through there for sure. Show me the bathroom. Oh, this is a very modern bathroom. Okay, they updated this pretty recently. Zero out of ten, not haunted at all. Back to here. A three, maybe. What's with the hat room? That's a kind of cute little room off the bedroom, and it leads to a little front a balcony. That's a lot of hats, though. Like, a lot of hats. Are you wearing those hats, or are they just for show? I don't know. It's overall not a bad bedroom, and I'm loving this little guy down here. That's so cute. No. 
one in the last 
house too. These are all active listings, so you guys may find your dream home today if you can afford it. No offense, but these are out of most people's price ranges. <laughs> Don't you want to live where Wallace Simpson once lived? Okay, and then there's, what is this? A uh, library. It's an odd color choice for a library. The salmon, kind of pink. Oh wait, that's just a bathroom. It, or like a sink. Why you need a sink in the library? Why? Okay, then a family room. Okay, it's kind of cute. I like the exposed brick. And then we go into the pantry. Oh, it, it, it is creeping me out though a little bit. Oh, the kitchen is kind of scary. It's not too bad. It's just very dated and like hasn't been brought into the center here really. It's not awful, but it, it's, oh no, we have a basement. Okay, let's go. Let's brave it. Okay, hold my hand. All right. No. Oh, it's giving Barbarian. Has anyone seen Barbarian? That was such a good film. I really loved it. It was really good. I made some of my friends come over and watch it with me. They liked it too. But this looks very similar to the basement in Barbarian. Oh. What the 
probably say it's haunted, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Any place that was built, you know? In the, like, around 1900, definitely. Oh, okay. So they... I guess they donate to preserving this place. I don't know why they call themselves that. Like, it's well preserved and it looks pretty cool, but it still makes me think it's haunted. Oh my gosh, look at this little kitchen. Look at that stove. That's very cute. It's cool that it's kind of, well, they've modernized this kitchen a bit, but you know, to see a little bit of a step back in time is always very cool. I love to adore these houses. Things like that. One of my favorite, you know, houses that I've ever adored was the Biltmore estate, which is so cool. If you're ever, well, if you're not American, if you ever visit America and you happen to head over there, it is really cool. It's massive. It's fascinating. And despite it being so old, it doesn't really seem haunted. So, excuse me, can I not go upstairs? You definitely can, so. Not sure. one feels haunted. This room's not too bad. Let's go in the bathroom. Oh, they might not let you go in the bathroom. Never mind. Okay, oh, well, that's a, quite a bright bedroom. Oh, it's weird that that's mirrored like that. when you can, okay? It's kind of cute. <sighs> That's pretty cute. Look at that old TV. It's so cute. Wow, the little dress form. Oh my god. Were women's waists really that tiny? <laughs> Are they? It's like, my definitely not. <laughs> oh, just the haunted children's playroom. Situated on an expanse in the West Hills that provides panoramic views. 
City Council member Will Daly brought public attention to Pettick having arranged for a water line to the construction project entirely at city expense, despite it being located a half mile outside the city limits at the time. So the incident contributed to a long-standing feud between Pettick's paper, the Oregonian, and Daly, which ultimately led to the end of the councilman's political career. In 1918, Georgiana died at the age of 72, and then Henry, one year later, at 84. The Biddick family remained in residence at the mansion until 1958, when Eric Ladd, who had stayed at the mansion for four years, and Peter Gattenbane, a Biddick grandson who had been born in the house, put it on the market, and they were unsuccessful in selling it. Um, there was a lot of damage done by a big storm in 1962 that made them think maybe we'll just demolish it, but the community raised a bunch of money to help the city buy it. Uh, seeing the popular sport, a green house had tremendous value as a historic resource. The city of Portland bought it in 1964. So, it sounds like a lot of people died in it. It's in, uh, it has been filmed in, there were a few films where things were filmed there, like a film called The Haunting of Sarah Hardy, which I've never heard of, and another film called Body of Evidence, starring Madonna and Willem Dafoe. What is that combo? What? Also, this was used as the finishing point for the finale of the 13th season of The Amazing Race. Okay. So, let's, let's see this, let's see how haunted is the Biddick Mansion. I believe this is where you enter. It's like a little welcome desk and some little door guides and all that. And, yeah, like, oh, it's quite pretty. It's quite a beautiful house, so you can read some stuff about them here. It says the library. This is really pretty. So far, I'm not getting haunted vibes at all. Um, this is the, this was the front door. Oh, this was the formal entryway. Okay. It's really beautiful. I'm surprised that it said that there was so much extensive damage done during a storm because it looks pretty good. This is the music room. All those old rich families had to have a music room. Wow. It's gorgeous. I mean, houses don't have to be creepy looking to be haunted, because so far this is... Wow, look at that scene! This is the Turkish smoking room. Gorgeous. This is a really, really beautiful home. This is the dining room. A modern room. Love the staircase, holy cow. The grand staircase. What is this? This is the breakfast room. Oh, cute. And okay, we're getting back into like the scullery. The tradesman staircase. Wow. Oh, the refrigerator room. <laughs> That's so cute. And here's the kitchen. Wow, look at that, look at that thing. This is so cool. Yeah, this one, while it could be technically haunted, it's not giving creepy haunted vibes. So far, this is a one. But we haven't seen the whole thing. We don't know. Uh, let's go up the ground staircase. Can you imagine living in a place like this? Because it feels like a museum. You know, and obviously it is these days. The niece's bedroom. A little creepy. I don't know, something about it. The color combo. It's very nice, bright bath. What? Oh, wow. It's the shower system. It's fascinating. An active woman. Another 
oh, they just, they really loved a, a print, didn't they? They didn't care if it, their dries back then, they just went for it. They just went for patterns on patterns on patterns. It's a bold choice, that's for sure. This is the south bedroom, and then over here is the writing room. A little creepy, all the patterns, all that, but it's so bright that it's getting a pass, you know? Like, it's very light and bright, and light and bright, it's hard to be creepy. You, you can still do it, for sure. Remember that sun room? Ugh, I was horrifying. Staying healthy, the self sleeping porch. Uh huh, this was the sleeping porch. It kind of, it's kind of creepy. I don't know, it's a little odd. I guess they thought that that was good for their health somehow. That's a little weird. But you know, people did all sorts of crazy stuff back then. This is Henry's bedroom. Oh yeah, were they one of those weird couples that had separate bedrooms? It's so ridiculous. <laughs> With his own private bathroom. Oh, it's quite nice. Quite a large bathroom. I'm afraid to ask what that is. I don't know. I don't think I want to know. Okay. This would be a cool one to visit, actually, if I go to Port. I could definitely tour this house. For sure. This is her bedroom. Here we go. She had a big sleigh bed. And let's see her bathroom. It's much smaller. <laughs> and her dressing room. And this is the west bedroom, which is connected. Ugh, yeah, see, you just can't have a four poster canopied bed like that and not have it be a little creepy. That they creep me out a little bit. Oh, another sleeping porch. Thank God we didn't get enough. And this one has dolls, of course. It just... Some old dolls are kind of creepy, you know? And they just can't help it. They just... So it's definitely not helping the creep factor. The child's bedroom. The child. What child? Henry. Their daughter. Oh, and we're back out. Okay, it all connected, which is quite interesting. I like this sloped wall, too. I think it's neat. Okay, I'm ready to go downstairs, which is historically the creepiest part of any house, so I'm prepared. It might not be too bad, you know. Stairwell, thank you. I hadn't worked that out. So what's in here? This is really, it's just like a a social room, but okay, you've really just made it to like a museum. It's really not that bad. Okay, there's a weird little, little hidey hole in there, a little cubby hole. We have another cubby hole in here. Yep, okay. Um, it's really not that bad. Although the lack of light is already making it slightly creepier. What's that say? Sign up for our newsletter. No thanks, but it's cute. Oh, here we have like public restrooms. Okay, well, as far as basements go, it's not that bad. Because it's kind of, you know, been made into more of a museum. Yeah, there were elements that verged on creepy, but overall the big mansion is like a two. A two out of ten. And not and, and, and that one point that just takes it back from one. It's really just the dolls. It's really just the dolls that made it creepy. <laughs> I liked it. I liked this house. How many of you recognize this house without me needing to tell you what it is? This is the infamous Silence of the Lambs house where they filmed. So we're right here at the entrance where it says, famous entry scene filmed here. I've only seen Silence of the Lambs once, and it was years ago, but I do actually remember it looking like this. So, um, I remember a scene in a room like this. It is creepy looking, too. They did a good job picking the house. I don't actually know much about the house. I'm gonna have to find it. Okay, it's a very modern looking room. <laughs> with the TV, and I guess we've got their own version of a music room. There's something always creepy about a staircase behind a door. I don't know, the fact that it's closed off, shut 
looking like it did in the film. Fireplace is seen in the movie. <laughs> I'm very excited about that. Like, or is it just like, you know, someone that's like just doing tours? Like, I'm just wondering, someone live here, turn around to see the voice straight, <laughs> straight from the movie. Oh, I don't, I really don't remember the film that well, I guess. So yeah, what I'm wondering is, does someone currently live here? Gee, I wonder what film was filmed here. Or is it just owned as a tour kind of place? Oh, that's creepy. Oh, yeah. This is just my eyes are being assaulted with so many patterns. How many patterns can you count? Like one, two, three, four. <laughs> is not great, like, even if a famous horror film weren't, is it horror or is it like a thriller suspense? It definitely has elements of horror. Um, but even if that weren't filmed here, I would say it's pretty creepy. Look at this, like, miniature door. <laughs> it looks like a scaled-down door. The bathroom's not bad. It's not terrible. But the rest of the house is quite creepy. This must be, that's kind of odd, isn't it? That you've got like a little secret entrance up to your room, I assume. I don't know, that, that's pretty weird. Yeah, it's definitely giving me the creeps. Oh, and we have another floor to go. Okay. Ah, a very creepy attic. Oh, it's not a good one. Yeah, it's a creepy one. so far. I think it's like a 7 out of 10 for me. And part of that score may be going to the fact that it was filmed here. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Now, is there basement access? Like, I don't know if that basement uh, from the film is a part of this or if it's like from another. Uh, oh dear. Oh dear. It is. Okay. Well, there is a basement. We don't know that it's the basement. In fact, it doesn't really look like it. It just looks like a standard, really creepy basement. Shower. 
I just don't like a lot of wood like this, like wood paneling and wood. Yeah, I don't know. The Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy, it's a, an odd touch. Maybe that's relevant to the film. We've got Ouija boards, I feel like that's relevant to the film. There must be something, there's like three of them. That, that must be. I know that that guy, Patrick Gibson, I think is in it. I know him from Phantom of the Opera, the film. <laughs> weird scene roll and something. This is, this is a creepy library. I can appreciate it that it's a library because I love books and I love libraries, but it's creepy. The Conjuring House, it says. <laughs> okay, clearly Ouija boards feature heavily in this. Okay, this is another Raggedy Ann. This is clearly a major plot point of the film, and I just really need to see it, apparently. I'm not gonna get that. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, get me back. No, 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 no. I don't wanna go down there. I'm not ready. I haven't psyched myself up to go into a creepy basement yet. Okay, here we have the movie posters. Ugh, is that what that nun thing is from? Creepy. Oh, and we have some some hoodies, some merch next to the workout equipment. Does that mean that someone is living here? This is like all other part of the house. Weird. So this is in New England because I'm definitely getting old New England vibes. I just bought a Dyson. <laughs>
wait, is it just me or is that? Oh no, the door is there. Okay. So that creepy little door right there. Oh, yeah, this place is weird. Oops, sorry. Alright. Oh, creepy, creepy, creepy place. Alright. Honestly, this one I think is an